Easy five at Gold Coast, no less than 270 degrees, the center of the two five thousand six. Good morning everybody, this is John from Drones and Planes and we're back at Manchester Airport's Runway Visitor Park. There's been a bit of an absence from the channel, I uh, just had some uh, family things to sort out. My mum died uh, a few months ago and uh, other bits and bobs, but we're back again and we thought we'd come back to our favourite place which of course is the UK's premier viewing area of the Manchester Runway Visitor Park. It's a glorious day, it's uh, early in October, and you can just see the Jet 2 Boeing 737800 going across the screen there. We'll be here for a couple of hours, so just sit back and relax and enjoy our premiere edited, wonderful footage. As always, if you've got any comments, please leave them below. Don't forget to like and comment, and if you want to keep up to date with all our uploads then please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification and here we have the British Airways shuttle from Heathrow Airbus A320 we're flying on one of these in a few months time going down to Heathrow for an onward journey to South Africa quite looking forward to it not done it before nice to land at Heathrow So forgive the, uh, the footage this morning, the sun is right in my eyes. Not a lot I can do about that. Guess it's not raining, eh? You're at 30,000? I don't think so. Here's the left hand side. We've got this uh, private jet right in front of the uh, approach path this morning. Very inconsiderate of them, let's have a word. Star Alliance, Scandinavian. See the reverse thrusters out there. Looks like the engines come to pieces, but it's quite normal. And now, on final, we've got the Air France Embraer 190 coming in from uh, Charles de Gaulle. Charlie de Gaulle. Like I said, this biz jet being right in the view doesn't help. Beautiful landing, well done, sir. make any reference to frogs. I wonder if they did that as part of a, a bit of a tongue-in-cheek thing with reference to French people. No offence meant of course. Got a lot of time for the French. Excellent food, very stylish, great country. Excellent wines of course. Of 
Good old Ryanair again. Like I say, the sun position doesn't really help today, but uh, it's, at least it's not cloudy, yeah. Uh, and we've got the Ryanair coming in. Nice little bits of jelly out the engine there. Very clear. Puff of smoke, reverse thrusting tons, spoilers, brakes, lights, camera, action! Some kind of activity going on now with the private jet. Hopefully it'll get towed off out of the way and then it will increase our viewing pleasure. I believe it's some variant of a Gulfstream, not quite sure exactly which one. I will find out and leave it in the captions. Here's the airliners live guys. Morning. They're doing live commentary on YouTube today. Quite interesting to watch what's going on there. Quite a serious bit of uh, kit there, quite jealous. Bit of uh, camera envy going on. Anyway, pop over to YouTube and uh, have a look. Obviously the footage will be old now, because you'll be watching this after the event, but still check them out, great channel. There's a KLM. Amsterdam. Lovely, so calm today. Wonderful. Perfect plane spotting conditions, not too windy, not too warm. Should be a wonderful couple of hours. Got to be one of the most instantly recognisable colour schemes, the absolutely amazing blue of the KLM. Love it. One of the oldest airlines in the world. Just saw the Gulf Old, Gulf, Gulf, Old, Gulf Air Dreamliner there. It's preparing for departure in And now we've got Air Portugal. Very quiet. Another Brian Air taking off it. Oh, good. The old uh, private jets buggering off. Getting much better footage now. Oh, the limitations of my skills, of course. And here we've got a Turkish A320 Neo, I think. It's going to get photobombed by the Air Portugal. There we go. Let's just touch down, mate. Come on, get it. Ooh, nearly. The Gulf Air just lining up on 2-3 right, Boeing 787 Dreamliner. You can hear the 3-2-1 uh, Neo 
three, two, one, Neo. Um, just to my right. It's the uh, Turkish that's just come in. But the main focus is, of course, on this absolutely beautiful Dreamliner about to depart. And of course, just being photobombed by that bloody private jet again. Just get out of the way. No one's interested in you. God's sake. How annoying. It's like one of those kids that just won't get out of a photograph. There we go. Sorry, Gulf Air, I did try my best, but everyone just wants me in the photo. In the video, I mean. Photo, well. Beautiful. Not quite sure what is going on here. They've now blocked off taxiway Bravo. It's now got its chopped back in and um, absolutely blocking the view, which is very considerate. So uh, I'll keep you posted on this one. Bit of a developing sort of story, really. And that's the Gulf Air Dreamliner that we just saw depart. Climbing its way out over Manchester and onward over the Pennines and over Western Europe and heading down towards Bahrain. Beautiful sky out there, isn't it? I don't think we're in Manchester today. Here's an ATR-76 from the Isle of Man, operated by Logan Airski. Just this bloody private jet ruining everything today. There you go, see? Great. I think I have to give up. Great. I hope you're enjoying this footage, repeated footage, of this private jet rather than the landings. Put a second one in there. I think they're just building a wall of planes so the uh, spotters today can't get any footage at all. Easy jet climbing out. Rattling away. So we're just waiting for the uh, Virgin Airbus A330 to pop off behind these two jets going off to Orlando. And here it comes. Beauty. 
we've got the Etihad Dreamliner. Just hear it spooling up now. It should appear from behind the tail any second. There we go. So quiet compared to the A330 that just took off. 